Good morning everyone and welcome to today's Jaira's Messy Kids service. This month we've been thinking all about the Bible, haven't we? And today we're going to look at that a bit more and remember some of the things we've learnt so far. So the first week we looked at what the Bible is. Let's have a little reminder. The Bible is a book of stories and promises. Kind of like if you took your favourite storybooks and combined them with letters from someone who loves you. Except this is extra special because these stories and promises are from God. And your Bible might look different from someone else's Bible, and that's okay. It has the same stuff in there. But it's not like he picked up a pen and started writing on paper, and he didn't pull out a laptop, and you know he wasn't about to write this whole thing using a phone. Instead, God told lots of different people what he wanted to say, and they wrote it down. There are stories in there about how God did amazing things a long, long time ago. There are promises in there that God made that He wants you to remember. And God made this happen for you so that you could get to know Him better and know His promises because you matter so much. So the Bible is God's story written down for you. Who can remember how many books there are in the Bible? That's right, 66. And they're split into two main parts called... Yes, the Old and the New Testament. And it was written by how many different people? Yep, 40. That's just a few of the things we've learned about the Bible this month. But why should we read the Bible? Think about your favourite story. You can learn a lot from a story. And if you remember the story, you can tell it to someone else later and they can learn a lot from it. But what happens if you haven't read a story in a long time? Yeah, you forget it. Now think about the first thing you ever learned. You don't remember? Of course not. It was a long, long time ago. But if you wrote it down, you could read it whenever you want and remember what it was. And that's why you read the Bible, so that you can remember all the stories and promises that God made when he was thinking about you. And it's stuff he wants you to remember and learn from, because you matter to God. Remember that we thought about how life can be a bit of a maze that we're struggling to find our way through. And like Cleopas and his friend in our story from last week, it can feel like Jesus is hiding from us and we don't know which way to go. Reading the Bible helps us to remember all of the wonderful stories about Jesus and how much God loves us and can help guide us in the right direction. It says in Psalms, right in the middle of the Bible, your word is a lamp that gives light wherever I walk. The Bible helps to show us the way. But it's massive, isn't it? So how do we read the Bible? It's easy to read your favourite comic book, right? It's easy to read a hilarious bedtime book, right? But this, this doesn't look easy, does it? The Bible isn't the kind of book that you start at the beginning and go all the way to the end without stopping. That would take a very long time. The Bible is actually lots of books all smooshed together. Some of the books are stories, and other books are long lists of people. Some books are all about the promises God made. And then there are even more books of stories, like the story of Jesus when he was a baby, and the story of when Jesus died to take away our sin. When you put them all together, these books tell God's story. And it's all right here. So take your time and read one part at a time. It's even better when you read it with someone else and talk about what you learned. That's how you read the Bible. We should read the Bible one little bit at a time. If you'd like some help knowing which little bit to start with, or you you would like your own Bible, then please speak to me or anyone else at Jaira. Another good way to read the Bible is with other people. Let's have a little look at a story from the Bible about that now. Stories of the Bible. Philip and the Ethiopian. This is Philip, who was one of Jesus' disciples. Philip preached the good news of Jesus in many places. One day, an angel of the Lord spoke to him and said, Go south down the desert road. So Philip started out and he met the treasurer of Ethiopia. The man had gone to Jerusalem to worship, and he was now returning to Ethiopia. He was in his carriage reading the book of Isaiah out loud. Hey there! The 
Holy Spirit said to Philip, go over and walk along beside the carriage. Okay, I can do that. Philip ran over and heard the man reading and asked, do you understand what you are reading? The man replied, how can I, unless someone teaches me? Come on up here. And he urged Philip to come up into the carriage and sit with him. Those parts here. The Ethiopian asked Philip, tell me, was Isaiah talking about himself or someone else? So beginning with this scripture in Isaiah, Philip told the Ethiopian the good news about Jesus. As they rode along, they came to some water. Wait, 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 hold on. And the Ethiopian said, look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized? He ordered the carriage to stop. Stop. And they went down into the water and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away and took him to another town. The Ethiopian never saw Philip again, but went on his way rejoicing. The Ethiopian didn't understand what he was reading at all, but with Philip's help he did. The light came on and he could see everything clearly. Reading the Bible with other people, talking about it and asking questions will do the same for us. So talk to your friends and family about the things you do or don't understand. Tell each other the stories you have read in the Bible and help each other to turn on the light. And if you're not sure, just ask. Let's join in with the actions to my lighthouse now. In my wrestling and in my doubts In my failures you won't walk out Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea Silence you won't let go In the questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my to show You 
thank you for your wonderful stories that we find in the Bible. Thank you that they can be a lighthouse for us, showing us the way to go. Help us to talk to each other more about your stories and to help each other understand them more. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you've had a gr- you have a great half-term holiday and we'll see you all next week. Take care now. Bye.